Hey guys, my name is Edgar Ayala at the Manor Barbershop. Today we're gonna to be doing a fade tutorial. Check it out. So one of the first things I always do is spray some water on my client's head to make sure there's no cuts, bruises, or anything I should know about. So today I'm gonna to do a low fade with no guard, with a zero on the sides. And I'm also gonna be using a wall, five star, I'm gonna start off the fade with opening the guard to the open position and only fade right over the top of his ear to keep it low fade. Now I'm gonna close the guard and clean all that extra hair with the triple zero. Once this line has been created, I'm gonna go ahead and open the guard up just a bit to go and blend in between these two lines. So next I'm gonna add the one guard and also open it and start flicking the hair to start, to start fading. Since this is a low fade, you always want to drop down towards the bottom of the head. Never go straight because then it'd be a mid or a high fade. Now I'm going to close the machine guard and hit it with just the one, this dark line you see in between. Now I'm gonna add the half guard, open it also, and just move away any of this dark line that you see here. It's still lingering in a little bit. Now I'm gonna use the one and a half guard. Same thing, open the, the, the machine all the way up and blend going upwards. Still dropping it down, but you're able to go up a little higher now. Now I'm gonna close my guard and follow right under that line. Next, I'm gonna use the two guard. Same thing, opening the, the, the machine up, flicking up all the top of the, the roundness of his head, crown of his head, and then closing the machine and using the tool right under that. Just like we've been doing. So now that we're at the top of the fade, almost finishing up that part of the fade, I'm gonna use my machine close and the comb, just clipper over comb technique to blend all this away. Now I'm gonna tilt my comb, pick up any of these extra hairs back here, and then mainly blend them away. So next I'm gonna shear the top of his hair just a little bit to create the style that he's going for. Now I'm gonna to move to the side of his head and then just make sure all these are pretty much even and give it a little texture at the top. Now I'm just gonna edge them up, line them up, and complete the look. So next I'm gonna finish the look off with Knight Rider, my personal favorite. I, I like it, the smell, the texture, with the, the pace and what it creates. Love it. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna smooth it in making sure I lift the walls of the style of this cut 
and then get it all in between the middle to create that look, that dry look.